So uh, if you're a multi-channel seller on the Magento 2 platform and a Shopify store as well, then managing both the stores could be a tedious task. But now using the Magento 2 Shopify connector plugin, the web store admin can integrate the Magento store with the Shopify store as required. Further, the admin will no longer be required to configure the product data and the information on both the stores separately. The admin has the option to synchronize the products orders from Shopify to the Magento store and can even export the products from the Magento store to Shopify. Moreover, the admin can synchronize the products and orders from the multiple Shopify accounts using the Magento 2 Shopify connector. So uh, today I'll be showing you the workflow of this particular uh, plugin and uh, I'll be basically showing you the configuration uh, that is required initially before making use of this particular plugin and we'll also be checking how to generate uh, the keys uh, uh, that are used for the configuration there so we'll see how to get the shopify api credentials as well but before proceeding further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up so right now you can see that uh, I am on the Magento 2 web store right now and uh, I have one of the ca categories there that's the Shopify products and I have imported two different products from Shopify into my Magento 2 web store. And this is my Shopify store and here's the product that I've imported that's the t-shirt uh, for rupees uh, 110 and uh, the same is imported here within the Magento 2 web store. Now what I'll be doing is I'll just be taking you through first uh, how to get the API credentials for the Shopify uh, from the Shopify store itself that uh, is to be used within the configuration of this particular plugin and thereafter we'll be checking out uh, the configuration or the initial configuration of how we can add multiple Shopify accounts in the admin backend and the rest of the flow there. So uh, let's hop on uh, to the section where I'll just be showing you how to get the API credentials first. So uh, now we'll be seeing how to create the uh, API credentials that I use uh, within the uh, plugin configuration there in the admin backend panel. So for that, you'll have to navigate to shopify.in forward slash sign up or depending upon your country, then you'll have to set up your uh, account there. So let me fill in the details here first. So I've entered my email address, my password and uh, my store name and thereafter I'll be tapping here on the create your store at the Shopify website and uh, thereafter after your account gets created you will have to log in as I've uh, logged in and then you'll have to navigate to your apps uh, section and thereafter we'll uh, after tapping on the apps we'll go to the manage private apps thereafter we'll go to the section here where and we'll find the create a new private app so you'll have to tap on that and that would uh, basically create your new app along with the api key itself after that you'll have to fill in your app details uh, by creating your private app and then tap on the save button at the bottom end of the same after tapping save you'll find this particular pop-up just tap on the i understand and create the app Thereafter, you'll find your API details as well as uh, the API key and the password. Now, this is to be used in the configuration settings in the admin backend panel for the Magento 2 Shopify connector itself. Now, uh, let's log into the admin backend panel and, and let's see the initial configuration settings. So, I'll be entering my username password and I'll be tapping on the sign in button thereafter. After the successful uh, installation of this particular plugin to make the initial configuration settings, uh, you'll have to navigate to stores, then configuration. On the configuration page uh, under the webcool block, we'll have to go uh, to our section that's the multi Shopify Magento Connect. So I'll just tap on that. So under the general settings for the uh, multi Shopify Magento Connect, here we have three different settings. And the very first one is the update product quantity and uh, here we can set yes to allow the update to allow uh, the updation of the product quantity on the Shopify store if the order for the product has been placed on the Magento store otherwise we can set it as no to not allow the update of the product quantity on the Shopify store if the order for the product has been placed on the Magento 2 store so you can choose a yes or a no for that 
then we have the update product as yes or no so here we can set it as yes to allow the product update on the Shopify store if the product has been updated on the Magento store otherwise we can set it as no to not allow the product update on the Shopify store if the product has been updated on the Magento store lastly we have the default source source and here we'll have to select the source that will be assigned to all of the Shopify products by default and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configuration button to save the initial configuration now after we have installed uh, this uh, particular uh, multi-store Shopify Magento Connect uh, plugin the admin on the side panel can find the multi-store Shopify Magento Connect option as you can see and under that he has three different options one is the Shopify account connect to uh, manage the Shopify accounts one is the listing templates and the price rules so let's go to the Shopify account connect first and let's see what uh, different options are there for the management of the Shopify accounts within the Magento 2 web store so under this section uh, the admin can uh, basically uh, manage and can add the Shopify accounts as required so I've already uh, added one of the Shopify accounts here apart from that you can see that we have the option to delete any of the added accounts by choosing the delete option from here you can edit any of the edit uh, accounts by tapping here on the edit link under the actions column to add a new Shopify account you'll have to tap here on the add Shopify account button so uh, for the demonstration purpose I'll just show you uh, an overview of the same so uh, to add a new uh, Shopify account I'll just tap here on this particular button and that brings up the Shopify account information section wherein uh, we'll have to set the unique store name for our account we'll have to choose the attribute site ID then we have to enter the API key and the password that we have already generated that we just saw a few moments earlier I showed you how to generate the API key and the password and lastly we have to set the domain name after you have set up these options here you'll have to tap here on the save and continue edit and after tapping the save and continue edit you'll have more options under the connect Shopify account so let me show you that for that I'll be editing the account that I've already edited and I'll just take you through the options that we get uh, after we have tapped on the save and continue edit option so I'll just tap here on the edit button that we have edit link under the actions column and that would uh, open the edit option for the Shopify account so initially uh, we have set the store name attribute set ID we have entered the API key that and the password that we have generated uh, uh, while creating uh, the app from the Shopify account we have set the uh, domain name uh, so it's the base URL of your shop Shopify store uh, for example your store name dot my Shopify dot com or we can also say it like for example webcool dot my Shopify dot com so accordingly we'll have to set the domain name there then we then when we tap on the save and continue edit button we get the general configuration listing configuration map category map product map order and the export to Shopify options for the account that we have added now uh, let's tap on the general configuration so here we have the Shopify general configuration options and the very first option that we have here is uh, the uh, default category so here we need to choose the default category for the product so right now I've chosen it as the imported products and uh, the same is visible here within the Magento 2 stores as well uh, Shopify products and under that I have the imported products so all of the products are being imported from Shopify into the Magento 2 uh, store and uh, this is the default category that I've chosen for the Shopify products basically then I've chosen uh, the default store view whether it's India or US so I've chosen it as United States uh, as required so uh, and uh, for the default store view here we have selected the default store view of the Magento 2 for the order synchronization then we have the import product and from the drop down we can choose all products or we can choose only mapped categories products so here we have two options for the import products so uh, if uh, you have selected all products uh, for the import product then uh, for example if you select all products then uh, what happens is that uh, uh, it is used to import all of the products otherwise if you choose only map categories uh, products 
then what happens is that if you choose this option then only those products are imported whose Shopify store categories have been mapped with the Magento 2 store. So for the mapped categories, if you choose this option, then only those uh, mapped category products would be uh, imported. Otherwise, if you choose all products, then all of the products would be imported from Shopify into your Magento 2 web store. Then we have the product description with HTML and you can choose a yes or a no. So set yes if you want to show the product description in HTML format while import and export otherwise if you choose it as no then uh, you can choose no if you want to show the product description in the plain text format then we have the price rule applicable for so here you choose uh, choose to apply price rule if you choose to apply the price rule on import product export product or go with none option to remain the price rule unapplied so here you can go for the price rule is applicable for the import products or the export products or none so depending upon your requirement you can choose one option for that then uh, we have the order status so here you can set the default order status for the orders which are import that are going to be imported from the shopify store and you can set up the conversion rate as well and uh, it would be for the shopify base currency itself after the general configuration we have the uh, listing configuration and here we have the shopify listing configuration as you can see and under this section the admin will configure the listing settings so we, the, the very first option that we have here is the default product quantity so set here you need to set the default product quantity for a product which is exported to shopify if the product quantity is zero on the magento 2 store so here basically what happens is that uh, you can set the default product quantity and this quantity would be used in case the quantity is zero uh, while you're exporting the products then we have the select template option and here the admin can choose uh, can select template as required and as per the selected template the additional information will get exported along with the uh, uh, with the product itself then we have the product type for export select the product type which the admin wants to export whether you want to export a simple one or a configurable one depending upon your requirement you can set up your product type for export then uh, we have the other information so here you can uh, enter or you can write any information for the exported products then uh, coming to the uh, map category section uh, basically under this particular uh, section the admin will map the Magento 2 store categories with the Shopify store categories uh, by uh, tapping here on the uh, uh, mapping option that we have and uh, so you can choose the store category and uh, accordingly uh, you'll have to choose its subcategory and then you'll have to choose the uh, Shopify category then choose the uh, base category if any for that and then you can tap here on the save mapping button to save the particular uh, mapping so uh, this particular category has already been mapped so it's uh, showing this particular pop-up that the store category has uh, already been mapped now after you have mapped the categories uh, that would then be visible here along with the store category column the shopify category the shopify category name the description published at shopify and uh, published scope at uh, shopify as well so that's how you can map the categories of the store with the uh, shopify categories very easily by selecting the store categories and then assigning the the uh, respective Shopify categories for the same and then tapping on the save mapping there then we have the uh, other option that's the uh, map product uh, map order and export to Shopify now under the map product here you can import the products from uh, from Shopify first and after you have imported them then you can create the, uh, the products within the Magento 2 store by tapping on the run profiler button and then uh, you'll be able to see the Shopify product IDs the name uh, the type the store product IDs and the store categories where they have been imported so here you can see that the t-shirt and the dresses are uh, imported to the imported product section as I've already uh, shown you here under the imported product section category on the Magento 2 store so let's go back so uh, to import products from Shopify just tap here on the import product from Shopify button and uh, 
and tapping the import product from uh, Shopify, a temporary product data is created and is stored in the Magento 2 database. After that, uh, we'll have to tap on the run profiler so as to create uh, uh, or add the imported products to the Magento 2 store. And uh, after the profiler has run, uh, we'll thereafter, after the successful execution, the admin can check the imported products in the imported product list here, uh, as we can see. Now, after that, so after the uh, running of the profiler there, the products would then be listed here after they are imported. The same goes for the map order uh, as well. Here you can see the Shopify order ID and the store order ID along with the order status on uh, Shopify along with the creation date. To import uh, the orders from Shopify, you can tap here on the import orders from Shopify first and then you'll have to run the profiler that would create the orders within the Magento 2 store there. And lastly, we have the export to Shopify uh, option. And from here, we can export the products from the Magento uh, 2 store to your Shopify store as required. And uh, you can do that very easily. So you just need to choose the products from the drop down, choose export to Shopify, then tap on the submit button and these products would then be exported to your Shopify account there so this is how you can connect your shopify account and then set up the general configurations listing configuration map the categories of your midden to two store with the shopify store uh, then um, map the products or import the products from shopify into your uh magento 2 web store map orders from shopify into uh, the magento 2 store and export the products from your magento 2 store into the shopify store there Lastly, you can tap here on the save Shopify account to save your particular account. Now, after that, we have the listing template and the uh, price rule. So uh, let's go to the listing templates now. So uh, as we know that this plugin allows the admin to export the product's additional information along with the product as per the choice. And for this, the admin needs to create the listing templates uh, and uh, he'll have to navigate through the um, uh, multi-store Shopify Magento to connect and under that we have the listing templates so from here we can create the template by tapping here on the uh, create template uh, uh, button as we can see so if I tap here on the create template button and then uh, for the listing template we'll have to set the title uh, we'll have to enter the template content and then we have to map the product attributes with the uh, template variables so uh, as an order i'll just show you the already created listing template that we have created uh, for a better understanding there so i'll just edit one of the templates that we have created here we have the product description template so let me edit that by tapping the edit link under the actions column so here you can see that we have set the title as product description the template content is there this would be usual on the product page itself and then we have uh, mapped the product attributes with the template variables so here we have the magento store product attributes so uh, to add the options you can tap here on the add option button from the drop down you can choose uh, your particular magento store product attribute and then you can uh, map it with the template variables so here we can set it as uh, color is to color and similarly you can add more options as well as per the requirement there and then just tap here on the save button to save the particular uh, listing template now coming to the price rules here uh, under the price rules the admin can easily update the uh, price of the synchronized products automatically and uh, for that he'll have to come down to this particular price rule section and under the price rules for shopify the admin can add a rule can delete a rule can enable or disable a particular rule can also edit by tapping the edit link under the actions column so to add a new rule you'll have to tap here on the add rule button and that brings up the new price rule page as you can see and here the admin needs to set the product price from and to values choose the operation whether it's, it would be the fixed one or the percentage one so uh, then he needs to select the operation whether to increase or decrease the price uh, of the product of the Shopify product uh, set the price uh, for of, of, uh, depending upon the operation type whether it's a fixed one or a percentage one then choose the Shopify store uh, here and then uh, enable or disable the uh, status of this particular rule and to save the rule just tap here on the save product uh, price rule now let me go back and let me edit one of the created rules there 
so uh, just give me a minute so let me tap here on the edit link under the actions column for this particular one uh, and here you can see that I've set the product price from and to values as 0 to 100 the operation is fixed and we are increasing the price and the price is ten dollars would be increased if it would have been percentage then the ten percent of the product price would be there the uh, Shopify store has been selected we have enabled the price rule and then just tap here and the save the pro, uh, save the product price rule itself so uh, that was much about the Magento 2 Shopify connector plugin and I hope uh, you understood uh, a little bit of the or that uh, I've given you today you can check uh, more detailed uh, data of the working by checking the live demo that I have attached within the description of this particular video you can also check the user guide that I have attached and the store link as well uh, and uh, if you have st still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com raise a ticket at webcool.qbdesk.com or you can also uh, contact us through https colon forward slash forward slash www.webcool.com forward slash contacts apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then kindly do give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead